Kia ora. In this short video, we'll look at how to add track times or uh, release times to a release or an album in Music Brains. And there's a few different ways to do this and to do it quite quickly. Now, first of all, if it's for a CD and you have the CD, we can do it using Picard. So um, you'll be doing it using the Look Up CD here. You're pressing the Look Up CD button and then uh, submitting the disk ID. So for that, that's really easy to do and that also adds uh, kind of split second times and all that good good data nerd stuff. So you got the CD, look up the video uh, how to add a disk ID and that will add uh, track times, say to the CD here. Um, it will put the disk ID up here and then you can set the track times from that. Um, so what we're gonna deal with is uh, a digital media release here, this album here, and as we can see, we've got no uh, no lengths on this album. Uh, once again, a few different ways to approach this. So let's start by assuming you've got the um, the release or the the tracks on your computer. So let's have a look at the the Bandcamp download that I've got here. And I haven't tagged it yet, so it appears on the left. Um, if it has been tagged and appears on the right, I believe you have to drag it back over to the uh, to the left hand panel to make this work, to make the right click work. Um, because what we're going to do is we're going to pretend that we're adding a new release. So we've clustered it into an album and then we're going to right click and then we're going to go here and we're going to go submit cluster as release. Now if you're not seeing that, uh, it's because in the plugins here, so that was an option, pick out options, plugins. Uh, we've got the add cluster as release. So you just, if that's not installed, you have to press the download arrow here and then uh, install and then make it so maybe restart Picard just to be safe. But we've got our add cluster as release. Copy cluster to clipboard will also work. Uh, we'll go over that in a bit. But for now, let's um, use this plugin. Oh, here, there it is. Uh, submit cluster as release. Uh, we're just going to continue. So what this is doing is it's just seeding all the information from those files. Now, as you can see here, we've got uh, the length has been added. So basically, this tutorial, and I'm going back to the original release um, and pressing edit now. We're going to put in the track time. Then go to track list. And now this tutorial really is, uh, it's how to use the track parser, which is a really, really powerful part in Music Brains that I didn't really understand the value of for ages. So um, I've pressed the track parser button and then now I've got this. And this is just a copy of what's already in there. You can see it's got question mark as the track times. Now what we're gonna do is just gonna um, leave all this ticked, but we're gonna untick use track numbers, use track artists, use track titles, I'm gonna leave use track lengths ticked. And now I'm gonna go back to the other, this is the release that I imported from Picard with the track times. I'm also going to press track parser. And we're just going to select all and then copy and then back over to the original. So now I'm uh, select all and I'm just going to replace this with the track times. And because I've unticked all this, the use track artists, use track titles, you know, have a little check, make sure this matches the track list for sure. And we're just going to click past tracks and look, it's immediately pulled in. Uh, the length. So this is actually, a, you know, you can use the track parser for lots of different stuff. It's got uh, different track numbers or you want to fix a bunch of uh, track names. And here we go, look at that, there actually is a typo here, little. Um, but because I've only ticked use track length, boom, uh, it's only pulled that in, it's ignored the typo. And that's really it. So now we can go edit note, um, you know, I can say, so where, where I got this from, which in this case here, is here and then I can uh, enter edit. Um, now I'll just show a few different methods as well. Um, and I mean, this is all the same the same trick. It's all using this track parser. So we go to track list and we go track parser again. So once again, we've got no track times. You know, you can do stuff like uh, just copy it out if you've got a text, a text field. See, so I've copied and pasted from uh, from Discogs, past tracks, it's going to paste it all in there. Um, and I'll show you something else as well. So 
This is again another tutorial, it's how to import stuff, but we can do the same trick that we use from Picard, but using an import script as well. So this is this button here on Bandcamp, import into Music Brains, or you know, any site you've got an import uh, user script running, you can click that. And again, we're gonna, this is exactly the same trick as we did last time, we go to track, track list, and we've got the track times here. I'm gonna press track parser, select all, copy. And then again, we can close this because this is just, a, all we wanted here was the track times. So we can close this. And then, you know, the, the usual trick, um, select all and paste. Let's see if this actually changes any track times. Now it looks like they're gonna be the same, let's have a look. Oh no, look, it did change a little bit. So that's interesting, right? Um, Discogs and Bandcamp have slightly different times, but it doesn't matter because I know my copy's from Bandcamp, so we'll use it from the files. It'll definitely be correct. Uh, this is using it from the CD, um, where again, you'd use the disk ID. So that's basically it. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna paste in the source here. I'm gonna hit enter edit. Um, and yeah, basically, if you've ever hand typed in uh, track times, track by track for release in Music Brains, never again. This is this is the way to do it.